I know you're there in Pakistan, but you've been a veteran of that region, as we've said, for, for many, many, many years. So if Ahmadinejad should lose, what would that mean for the U.S. as, as far as security goes? Uh, well, it would certainly be good news for President Obama. It would make it a lot easier for him to negotiate, for his teams to negotiate with someone who is not belligerent, who is not confrontational. He could build on this adrenaline of change and really try to make a difference. Well, what about the Ayatollahs, the, um, the religious leaders there? Don't they really, people on the ground there say they have the true power? Uh, if, if Mousavi wins, he will still have to answer to those clerics. That's exactly right, Robin. But you saw in Jim's piece this real reform movement going in Iran. That could make a real difference despite the clerics, or there could be some sort of backlash. And a final note before you go, you're there in, in Pakistan, and we understand there's been another deadly bombing there this morning. There, it's happening on a daily basis. What is it doing to the country there? Uh, it, it is happening on more than a daily basis. There have been six suicide bombs in the last 24 hours, and intelligence sources say there may be many, many more out there, dozens. But this could galvanize the population against the Taliban. All right, stay safe there, Martha Raddatz. Thanks so much.